Well, new here at 6 o'clock, the Greenville County School District is looking for some new members to sit on its material review committees. If you're not sure exactly what that mm -hmm. is, well, when someone submits a complaint about a book or classroom material, these committees review it and decide if it stays or goes. But one requirement that caught our attention, one member must be a member of the clergy. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle live in studio. She's been looking into this. Grace, is this a new policy? You know, it actually isn't. The clergy member requirement is decades old, dating all the way back to 1994, according to the district. Now, here's what the policy says. There's one committee for high schools, one for middle schools, and another for elementary schools. And each must include parents, teachers, a media specialist, non-employees, and one clergy member. Now, we looked at each school district's policy across the state, and Greenville County Schools is the only one to require a member of the clergy be involved. Now it would be up to the board of trustees to change this policy and I actually spoke with Chairman Roger Meeks. He's been on the board for nearly three decades. I asked him if he thinks this is an issue of keeping church and state separate. He says no and adds he's never had a complaint about it before. However, I also talked with the American Civil Liberties Union of South Carolina about this. They say they became aware of this policy at the beginning of the week, and the director says it's time for Greenville County Schools to review their policy and align with the rest of the state. Justin, Tori. Now, Grace, right now there have been quite a bit of talks about mm -hmm. books as far as like what books are there for children. So in regards to this committee, how many books have been removed from classrooms over the years? Well, according to the district, the material review committees have never completely removed a book from the school district. So that's pretty big because they've been around for decades. However, they have restricted a few books for certain grade levels. And it's also worth noting that in the spring, a complaint was made about a book dealing with gender identity. Those committees ruled to keep the book in schools, but the parent appealed that decision to the Board of Trustees and they decided to restrict it. Yeah. Well, thanks for looking into that, Grace. We'll follow up with more.